Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about will she regret leaving me, okay? So the first thing that I want to get into is there's a chance that you will never know if she regrets the fact that she left you, right? Because especially if she has sort of like moved on and she's moving on, you know, with her life in different ways, um, you may never actually find out if she is, you know, feeling remorse over leaving the situation. So that's something that you need to come to accept. It may be just something that she silently thinks to herself at one at one stage, let's say if you've like really improved your life, you know, she may think and, and go, oh, hmm, maybe I should have stayed with him or maybe I should have stayed with her, depending on who you are, right? So it, it, you, you, there, there's a chance you may never actually find out if she regrets leaving you and dumping you. It may be the case that you will hear from her at some point, but you probably won't ever know. Like nine times out of 10, she probably won't ever say anything to you to um, suggest that she regrets leaving you, okay? So you don't really wanna be focusing too much on that and to, trying to mind read and trying to second guess what she's thinking and things. Because that kind of stuff will kind of make you a little bit crazy, right? It'll make you, you know, if you start trying to look for little clues to see if she regrets that you dumped her and things like that, it can, um, you don't want to get to a place where you're kind of obsessively thinking like that because it's never going to lead anywhere good. Um, so what you want to be focusing on then is doing things that may actually um, make her regret leaving you. And also make sure that you're doing those things but they're actually for your benefit too and for that they're for, and that they're for mostly your benefit right because sometimes it's good to channel like our dark energies and thinking okay I'm gonna do all this with my life to make her regret leaving me or to make her regret rejecting me sometimes that be that can be good fuel to use in order to help you get to where you want to be in life but it should be things that you want anyway right? It should be like, if you want to have like a nice house, then if that's a goal for you, then, you know, that's something that you must also be, you know, that that is also something that you want. You're not just doing it to make her regret, right? It's not like you're, I'm going to, I'm going to become super successful in this sort of thing because I know it'll be the thing that will annoy her the most and make her regret leaving me. Now, you don't want to be thinking about that. You want to be improving your life in such a way and having goals and tackling those goals um, because they are what you want, as well, right? There's something that there's something that you genuinely want. So don't focus too much on her, on making her regret that kind of thing. You know, genuinely try to improve your life. And why? Why should you? Why should you try to improve your life? Well, mostly because it's going to make you proud of yourself, right? And if you've, if someone's left you, if someone has dumped you, then obviously it's knocked your self-esteem a bit. It's knocked your confidence. It feels horrible to be dumped, right? So you want to be finding ways to make yourself feel better about yourself and to give yourself more confidence. And there's a quote, you know, that I really love by Dale Carnegie, who um, wrote the book, um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it goes like this, inaction breeds doubt and fear, action breeds confidence and courage. So the more you take action on your goals, the more you take action on exercising um, and looking after yourself and taking care of yourself, um, take, you know, taking action on those things that are really important to you, that are good for you, that's going to make you feel much more confident and give you more courage in life, right? And if you don't, if you're just sitting around, if you're just seething because she broke up with you or you keep on checking her social media, you keep on listening to songs that make you, rem that remind you of her, you know, checking her stories and things like that. That's not going to help you. That is all inaction. That's all setting you backwards. You want to do things that are moving you forward in life. Because when you do things and tackle things and take action on things that are moving you forward in life, as Dale Carnegie says, is it breeds confidence and courage. And you want to feel confident in yourself. And if she left you and you feel horrible about yourself, then you need to find ways to build yourself up, right? And it may be the case that you will not feel confident for, you know, when it comes to romance for a while, because you've had a knock in your romantic life. But if you become confident and competent in other areas and take action on other areas of your life, it tends to spread 
to uh, like if you get confident at something and you start building confidence because let's say you've been tackling your goals you know you've been working let's say you've been learning a new skill or you've been working on a business that you've been trying to do you've been you're trying to leave your nine to five and you're trying to make your side hustle your main hustle basically you know if you're doing things like that and you're taking action on things like that that you want that you genuinely want then um you know you're going to feel confident right and if you start getting confident in one area it generally tends to spread into other areas as well so once you start getting confident in taking action and you feel proud of the action that you take every single day then you're more likely to be more confident around women if you happen to bump into her you'll probably feel a lot more confident as well because you are doing things and you're trying to improve your life in such a way that you can feel proud of yourself and be proud of the life and the things that you have built in your life right? So if you like help with that sort of thing, then please go check out my personal development channel because in that channel I do go into, you know, how you can do that sort of thing, you know, how to make more money, how to, you know, um, budget your time, how to do, um, you know, success and um, personal development material, things like that. I go into that a lot in a lot more detail on that channel. So the best medicine really, you know, the best way to make someone regret leaving you even though you may never know right is to become genuinely happy and this doesn't just go for romance it doesn't just go for her you know the, the woman that left you it goes for you know people that bullied you at school you know parents that may have not believed in you siblings that are horrible to you um you know uh, you know friends that didn't stop wanting to be friends with you bosses that never gave you that promotion or never you know this you know you, you, it works for all those sorts of areas, right? And that is, you know, become genuinely happy. You know, find a way that you enjoy your life and you start to enjoy your life in such a way that you become genuinely happy. You become happy with what you've done, you're doing with your life. You become proud of yourself because that's the best medicine to become happy. That's the best revenge. You know, one of my favorite quotes from Marcus Aurelius is um, something like, uh, um, the best revenge is not to be like your enemy, Right? And basically what that means is, is that if someone left you and they were mean to you, or horrible to you, they undermined you, they didn't believe you, they underestimated you, um, they made you feel horrible about yourself, the best thing to do is to not be like that person, right? To be, start to become genuinely happy, proud of yourself, have high, health, health, high self-esteem, um, and to become better in all facets of your life, you know, improve your emotional health, improve your physical health, um, improve your mental health, um, improve um, your financial health, uh, improve um, your your skills and your hobbies, improve the relationships you have with your friends and family. You know, try to make your life um, into something that you can be really, really happy with, right? Because if, let's say, you got bullied at school and things like that, then, you know, the best thing to be is to not, because as someone who bullies another person and makes another person feel insecure is actually really insecure themselves. So if you start becoming confident and better, then you're no longer going to be like that person, right? And that's the best revenge. That's the sweetest revenge to go above them in so many different ways, especially when it comes to like personal integrity um, and to not be a bully and to not be mean to people and things like that. So that's just something else to consider as well and you know eventually you'll get to a point and this is a quote that I love by um, Steve Jobs in his Stanford address and that is like one of the things he learned in life was that you can only connect the dots looking back and basically what that means is is that sometimes you may have to go through a really horrible experience in your life in order to get to a better place um, in order to, you know, reach a new realization that can help you, that to, you know, put you on a, the place where you're supposed to be, basically. And you can only do that looking back. When you're going through pain, like a breakup, you don't see it because you're just clouded by your emotion. But a few months down the line, a few years down the line, you're going to look back and think, this was the best thing. This breakup was the best thing that happened to me because it led me to where I am right now. But you need to take action on those things. You need to actually do those things, right? You actually do need to start improving your life. Because, you know, sometimes I, you know, see old friends that I used to go to school with or college with or something like that. And it's like, you haven't changed. You're still the same person. You still got the same crappy views in life. 
Um, you still got, you know, um, you know, the same problems that you've always had. You've not grown, you've not evolved, right? So if you start to grow and evolve and become better, you know, it's just going to improve all facets of your life, okay? And you're just going to feel so much better about yourself, right? Don't be the same person you've always been changed. You can completely re do you know do a do over on yourself basically you completely redo who you are and reinvent yourself okay you can do that that is possible for you especially if you're not happy with the person that you see in the mirror right you can change that person right you might not be to change 100% of what that person looks like but you can change your mental attitude you can change your philosophy about life you can improve the way your body looks you can always do those sorts of things so start doing it because it's only going to benefit you the best thing that you can do for yourself so thank you so much for watching if you'd like coaching with me then please go to www.christineloveridge.com thank you so much for watching and i shall talk to you again very soon bye